HD bikinis are inbound because a new Dead or Alive Extreme game is coming out. Deus Ex is delayed and a CSGO team drops out after the Paris attacks. Destiny's refer friends to some yields interesting looking rewards and the Street Fighter V producer comments on PS4 exclusivity. I'm Danica. And I'm Tamtu. You're watching Turn Based. If Dead or Alive 5 with mods and ultra-high settings wasn't accessible for you, rejoice as Dead or Alive Extreme 3 has been announced for a February 26, 2016 release in Japan for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. The fighters are back to do all the beach and vacation resort games in current-gen quality. Now called Extreme 3 Fortune for PS4 and Extreme 3 Venus for PS Vita, the games will deliver exactly what you expect from this series, a varied collection of mini-games. Lots of... Mini games. Don't you feel super dirty? I need about 20 showers right now. Take your time because Deus Ex Mankind Divided has been delayed until August 2016. Eidos Montreal posted in a blog post yesterday that the extra time would be spent on post-production improvements. He says, We're confident and proud of the game so far. However, as we are now playing through the game in full, we can see that it will require more time in post-production for tuning, iterations, and refinement to meet our high standards. Given recent game releases, perhaps Eidos is trying to make sure the game goes gold bug free and to deliver better content for pre-orders and extras ever since they scrapped the super weird pre-order system a while ago. Team Envious has chosen to withdraw after one of their players was on his way to the airport in France when it was starting to be evacuated and planes were subsequently diverted. The withdrawal has opened up a spot which has since been filled by CounterLogic Gaming. The San Jose tournament is the biggest CSGO tournament to date with a prize pool of $100,000 US. Viet is actually there to cover it for us this weekend, so be sure to follow our social media and get the app to see what kind of shenanigans he's up to. You might like this, Tom, too. The most recent patch of Destiny has unveiled new shaders, emotes, and vehicles that are linked to another player. Bungie has mentioned a friend referral program not too long ago, and it seems the rewards are emotes that actually interact with other players, like a two-player dance and high fives. A quest line has been found called A Tale of Two Guardians that includes doing daily and heroic quests with a linked friend. The rewards can already be checked out in the game's various NPCs and kiosks. What are you doing? I'm ordering you a copy of Destiny. No. Oh, fine. Okay, well, in game news that matters to you, we're kicking off with our chief nader Rob, Robert, in the app where Street Fighter V producer Yoshinori Ono addressed the PS4 exclusivity to Xbox players in an interview with GameSpot, joking that there's plenty of time to save up for a PS4 and that it's at a very attractive price point. Laughs. He also explained that there will be content that is only available via DLC, but assures us that these are only cosmetic and will not affect gameplay, which is the way to go. Isn't it ironic that Robert, hater of fighting games, had this as his game news hashtag? I guess, but be sure to post hashtag game news in the app that matters to you and we'll pick it up in turn based. We've also got something to announce today. Big Red Laser returns tomorrow at 4 p.m. CET, which is 10 a.m. PST and 7 a.m. EST. No, wait, the other way around. Either way, we'll be streaming again with Kate and Tim on YouTube and Twitch, so be sure to tune in tomorrow. So that's it for today's turn based. And the Game of Thrones full season giveaway is still going on in the app, so check it out there if you want to win it. Game on this weekend, and we'll see you on the next turn based. I'm Danica. Oh, and I'm Tam too. Cancel that order, because I'm not playing Destiny with you. Oh, fine. I'll play. <laughs>